Website Pen Testing Overview. In this video, we are going to take a look at a couple of points. First of all, we will learn about what is the meaning of website pen testing and then what are the processes inside website pen testing and various website vulnerabilities as well. So first of all, what is the meaning of website pen testing? So uh, you can see in the first point that website pen testing is a process to exploit website using website vulnerabilities. Vulnerabilities means weakness. If a website contains some weaknesses, so the attacker can use that weakness, can use that vulnerability to bypass or to exploit the websites, right? So if there is any security in website, but there are still vulnerabilities are available, so they can bypass the security level and they can easily exploit and penetrate the websites. That process, that complete process is called website pen testing. So website pen testing is necessary to find loopholes in website. Absolutely correct. Because if the website has loopholes, then attacker can perform website pen testing. And website pen testing is also a necessary part to find out more loopholes available in websites. So if the user is not aware about the loopholes inside the website, so he can perform different kind of pen testing to find out that these loopholes are available in my website or not so that he can make a list and remove the loopholes as soon as possible in, from the websites. So that's why website pen testing is really necessary and after performing pen testing on websites, users generally find different kind of vulnerabilities available in the website and they are the topmost vulnerabilities available. So a website has these kind of vulnerabilities. These are the topmost vulnerabilities available in websites. For example, SQL injection. So what is SQL injection? SQL injection is basically it's it's quite simple process. This is your browser where website is open and this is the web server. So attacker uses browser to insert some SQL queries and they go to the server and server cannot understand that uh, these queries are malicious and provides information to the attacker. So this is called structured query language ingestion. Accesses attack. Accesses attack is basically attacker inserts a malicious JavaScript and gather information about sessions, cookies, etc. CSRF is basically cross-site request forgery attack. It is also a kind of vulnerability available in most of the websites. And buffer overflow attack is also available in many websites. We will talk about this later in the sections where I will show you that how to perform SQL injection and access as CSRF and buffer overflow vulnerabilities available in the websites. So we will explain you and uh, we will also perform practical in the next section. So these are some major vulnerabilities av available and uh, so these websites can be exploited if these kind of vulnerabilities are still available in the website. So this is all about this section and uh, in this section we have learned about first of all we have learned about how to download and install XAMPP server inside Kali Linux operating system. Then later I have shown you that how to download MatiliDay and host it inside XAMPP server. Then we have learned about what is a website and how website works. And finally we have learned that what is the meaning of website pen testing and what are some major vulnerabilities available in the website that can be exploited by attackers. So this is all about this section and uh, hope you have enjoyed it in the next section we are, we are going to learn about websites pen testing scanning websites thank you so much